Hannah Corey with the South Central Calhoun Titans joining us down here after her 400 hurdle. Second best time ever for Hannah in the event, so congratulations on that. Got to feel you. pretty good. Yeah, it felt good to come out here and get my second best time. I would have liked to get my best time, but that's all right. I was going to say, you got that one in districts, if I remember correct, right? Yeah, I shaved three, four seconds off my other PR, so that was good. Were you confident that you could do that coming into today? Um, I didn't feel like I had a PR in me exactly, but um, I'm just, yeah, I just didn't want to get last. <laughs> so and you, and I you didn't. That, so yeah. That's good. How'd you feel during the race today? Talk about how it went. Um, it was, it felt pretty good coming on the first 200. The second 200 got me. Um, I don't, I don't know. I took off faster than I usually do. I wonder if that didn't affect something, but, uh. Second you, know, fun, so you were in second or third place in your heat after that third heat hurdle, so you did get off to a pretty good quick start. Do you feel good out of the blocks? Yeah, yeah, I felt really good out of the blocks. I like the blocks here, they're nice. <laughs> Now, I was talking to you before the interview, and you told me that, that those last three hurdles and then trying to sprint that last, what's it, probably 40 or 50 meters, that's just the toughest part of the 400 hurdles. Yeah, that part's the worst. You're like, you get all that energy sucked out of your legs, and then I don't know what it is, but that seventh hurdle, just awful, or the eighth hurdle, I guess, is you just don't want to jump it, but... <laughs> Once you get over those those last three hurdles and you got the sprint, the sprint's hard, but it's nice to not have anything else to jump. <laughs> Any advice for younger girls that are looking at getting into this event or might be in this event and what they need to do? You kind of talk about a lot of it being mental. It's a mental event. I mean, everybody says it's the hardest event out there. I mean, I can't vouch for the distance events, but I'd say it's one of the hardest events there is. And if you tell yourself you can do it, you can do it. I never had good times until I find a girl ahead of me. It's actually Jenna Peters and I said, I'm going to run with her today. And that's when I started bringing my times down. And I found Natalie Lambert and I said, I'm going to run with her. And that's how I've always brought my times down. So if you find a person ahead of you and uh, tell yourself that that's who you're running with that day, that's what I found makes you successful. Senior year back down here at the state track meet. What's this one mean for you? Uh, this one means a lot. Um, I really never thought I'd be down here uh, after after our shuttle didn't go my sophomore year, so I thought I was done, but uh, I really wanted to make it to state in all three sports this year. That was my goal from the beginning, so I'm really glad that I that I got to achieve that. And I'm so lucky to have had the senior year I've had. And I, I wouldn't trade it for anything. It's been so much fun. Well, go celebrate this year. Congratulations on an outstanding year. Thank you.